Do I find it unusual to be back where it all began? No more so than the rest of our story. Our party did break up as you advised. I haven't seen them in years. It truly was better to split the party for their sake. My noblest features are a liability in a world dominated by humans. I blended in, of course, uh, while staying true to my elven heritage. I devised the perfect disguise. Christmas is the happiest time of the year. Do you know why? May I have a candy cane? Because Christmas means money. Merchants make it, they pay their rent on time, and mall management pays me. I get to keep my job for another year. Uh, just one, huh? Christmas means keeping the consumer happy. And what does the consumer want? Candy canes? The consumer wants their hideous offspring to stop screaming, complaining, and puking. They want a moment of peace. How do you think they get that? Not candy canes? From Santa Claus and his merry band of Christmas elves. My disguise and demeanor were perfect. Yes, I am a Christmas elf which is perfectly normal, and no calls for alarm, concern, or unwarranted police action. So maybe you can explain to me how your actions today didn't exactly capture the true spirit of Christmas. Capture a spirit? Oh, finally. A quest worthy of my talents. Why, I remember a time... Nobody ever suspected a thing. Ah, uh, yes. The Christmas spirit. A metaphor meant to represent keeping the consumer happy. Mm. Mm. These candy canes really are the food of the gods. <laughs> Today, tell me what happened. Yes, of course. I was standing at the entrance to the queue where the human children were waiting to sit on the lap of the drunkard with the fake beard who goes by the name of Santa Claus. May I have another candy cane? And nobody could resist my charms. Then. Mm. Mm. Santa invited this vile urchin to tug on his beard. So, naturally, I... Excuse me while I partake of another candy cane, if you don't, just to reach over here. Ha! Nor could any mere human overcome my mm. superior reflexes. Mm, he's really uh, quite good with the sweet center and the... Viking peppermint. No, oh, in the heavenly red swirl. <laughs> yes, the story. Uh, <clears throat> well, the uh, drooling whelp was not satisfied with tugging upon the beard of the ale-soaked oaf and insisted on touching my ears. My ears. The indignity. An elf's ears are sacrosanct. Did I indulge to deaden the pain, perhaps, but it never interfered with my duties? So, Naturally, I dealt with the miscreant as any elf would, using the ancient combat techniques of the treetop masters. You are not an elf. I am a noble prince of the deep forest, and your outrageous besmirchment of... of... You were saying? 
that I am not an elf. And that you are going to go out there, apologize, and gift those ridiculous ears to the person who asked to touch them. May I have another candy cane? And when the opportunity came to move on to new adventures, I took it! <laughs> you thought to keep the food of the gods from me, but yea, I have stolen it from under your very nose, and now will depart with my prize. You're fired! You humans keep saying that. You know, elves are famously fire resistant. It is most peculiar. Farewell, dear lady. We shall not meet again. Ahem. <clears throat> if you leave in the mall's elf costume, the difference is coming out of your last paycheck. I spent some time in the forest after that. But before we revisit those idyllic days, your message said something about a new quest? Thank you to the Patreon supporters who made this mini-episode of Gamers the Series possible. If you would like to see more gamers more frequently, go to patreon.com slash zombieorpheus. Once we reach our $10,000 monthly goal, we will be able to launch an entire first season with a new episode each month.